So I put a poll out recently on social media saying, do you want me to give an STI to Apple or a company in the UK called Greencoat Wind? Now to my astonishment, Greencoat Wind absolutely floored Apple along with me getting a few comments on past videos, it's about time we actually had a look at this company. Now, full disclosure, I am not invested in this company and I probably won't as well. So you don't have to watch the rest of this video if you're already a bear. But if you are bullish on Greencoat Wind, then you should probably watch this full video because we're about to whip it out, spin it around really fast like a windmill and give Greencoat Wind its first ever STI. So welcome to Stock Ticker Inspection, where I talk about a single stock, give you my thoughts and opinions, and as well as breaking down whether I think personally it's a good buy or not. But to be clear, this is not financial advice and should be not considered as so. So do your own due diligence when it comes to making any investment decision. If you are new here, please do subscribe and turn the bell and do me the kindest of kind favors. Help me out with the YouTube gods. Make sure that like button is turned blue. It will help this video reach a larger audience so that they can make their own investment decision when it comes to green coat wind. If you do want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link down in the description where you can get some exclusive perks, including our WhatsApp group. There's only a few spaces left, but there you can message me directly and find out what I'm buying and selling as it happens. If you haven't got a broker, check out eToro on the pinned comment, sign up, deposit, make one simple trade, and you get free, yes, free, lifetime access to the LWT investing chat room. Now the UK is moving massively into renewable energies and the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said that he wants the UK to become a massive renewable energy powerhouse and world leader by 2030. So surely it's about time we all start looking at renewable energy stocks more seriously and green coat wind in the UK has been mentioned in the comments of my past videos and people seem to be very interested in this stock. Now, if we look at the stock chart of Greencoat Wind pre Verona in January 2020, we can see that the share price was around about £1.50 a share or 150p. Since then, the stock has been on a downward trend and is currently riding around the £1.25 or the 125p mark depending which broker you have. They're currently valued at around about 2.6 billion pounds, which is about 3.5 billion US dollars at the current exchange rate. And simply Wall Street has them overvalued at around about 20%, which actually did shock me a little bit because I thought all renewable energy companies are the future. They have a PE, a price to earnings ratio of 19, which is not really that crazy in this market and could be considered okay. Not great, but I'd say it's okay. The short-term assets and liabilities are 8.5 million in assets and liabilities are 8.4 million. So just covered there. And if we look at their long-term assets and liabilities, it's a very nice picture. There's 3.3 billion in assets with a 1.1 billion in liabilities. So well covered there. And their debt to equity ratio is around about 49, which is quite decent as well in the current market, to be honest. The biggest thing about this company is they offer you a good dividend of around about 5%. And they're very much focused on paying this dividend. So if you are looking looking for a dividend stock that pays you regularly and seems to be very, very safe, maybe this is for you. Now, the most important thing when it comes to looking at the fundamentals is the insider buying and selling. There's really no selling, but their commercial director did recently purchase £25,000 worth of shares. Now, the company itself, do not mistake this for an innovative renewable energy company. It's not a company that's going to reinvent the windmill and change the world when it comes to renewable energy. This company is best looked at as a fund that basically buys renewable wind farms, keeps them running, produces power and takes money from the grid and then returns that money in a form of a dividend to its investors. And this is one of the reasons why I don't really like the company setup. And I'll come on to why in a little second. If you look at Greencoat Wind's mission and aim on their website, Greencoat aims to provide shareholders with a sustainable and transparent stream of income through its annual dividends. Now, to be clear, from my understanding, they do not pay their dividend annually. I think that could be a bit of a misconception there. They do pay quarterly from my understanding. Like I said, their dividend is actually over 5%, which I think is quite good. And they've got a solid, solid history of paying it. And more importantly than that, increasing that dividend. 
So if you want to invest a large amount of money and just get a dividend along the way to live on, maybe this company is for you, like I said previously. Now, Greenco is very, very focused on buying new assets and wind farms. They're very, very driven as far as growing their debt, and it's very, very well managed. I will give them that. The company seems to be very, very safe and have a very, very good structure in place and will go long term acquiring new wind farms and that power production, as we can see, I think will continue to grow as it has done in the past. And as that power production continues to grow at a decent rate, my I add, their dividend should increase as well. But the reason I really don't like it is the share price, because when I like a dividend stock, I like something that's undervalued or has potential to continue going up. For example, let's just imagine that Apple just sat still. People really wouldn't be investing in Apple even if they did pay you a nice dividend. For me, a good comparison here is BP. BP is slightly still undervalued if you look at the chart alone. They pay you a very good dividend around about the same as Green Coat Wind. And funny enough, BP has actually got the same mindset as the UK of moving into becoming a renewable company in the future as well. So if we put it on paper, BP's dividend is also very, very good and they've got potential to grow up in share price as well and they're in the renewable sector and they've got other revenues from other streams of income, why would you pick Greenco Energy over BP? It just baffles my brain. Not to mention BP is a much larger company. And that's the problem I have with Greenco. It's not necessarily about the company itself. It's just not sexy enough for my portfolio. It seems to be a very boring setup where you're just going to get a quarterly dividend and that's pretty much it. Another downside of this is imagine if you bought in pre-Rona and you're currently sat down a decent percentage amount in your portfolio on this ticker, but yay, you get a dividend along the way. But in my opinion, there's no real sign of recovery in the share price in the near future anyway. Now you probably think I've been a bit harsh here on Green Coat Wind, and I want to just clarify right now. The company itself, there is a need for it, and I do see the investor who wants hassle-free dividends, and I think it's probably one of the best in the UK at giving this. Not to mention the renewable energy sector is growing fast, and I think this company will continue to grow fast. And I can see their dividend actually going all the way up to eight, maybe even 10%. But it could be a long way away. And I really don't want to invest in a company when there's much better options out there that offer me double growth in terms of share price and in dividend. I just don't see the point in it. And at my point in my investing journey, I'm not looking at just sitting there and just taking a dividend and being a very lazy investor. It's just not for me right now. So all in all, I think it's a quite safely set up company. It pays you a solid dividend, but for me, the share price is just not sexy enough and doesn't have that much growth potential over the next five, 10 years in terms of share price alone. They are acquiring wind farms very, very fast. That might change, but unless they diversify maybe into solar farms or even look at something like developing their own products in terms of wind farms, I just don't see myself investing in this company. If you are investing in this company, I'm sorry it's not the video you want, but let me know down in the comments your thoughts on where this company can go in the future. And if I've missed anything that you are more aware of, let me know down in the comments and we can have some dialogue. If you haven't already, please turn that like button blue and the code word for this video is of course windmill. Be very, very safe out there and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.